What's happening everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 2002R in this Rain Cloud and Angora colorway. Today's video was brought to you by who else? The good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles. So depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're gonna find there's a suitable pair for anyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I personally find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is a brand new colorway of the New Balance 2002R, and the colorway for this shoe is Rain Cloud, Angora, and Sweet Caramel. They already dropped over in Europe, which is where I managed to grab my pair, and they retailed for a price of 160 euros, which is roughly 160 US dollars or 210 here in Canada. But I expect if they eventually land here in North America, the retail price probably should be the standard 2002R pricing. So the style code for this shoe is M2002RSA, and an interesting fact about this shoe is that it actually incorporates a lot of recycled materials. So attached to the laces, it actually came with this tag right here. And on the back, you can see that it shows you that a portion of the leather used on the upper as well as on the sole is comprised of recycled materials, which is a nice added touch. And while the whole recycled aspect of this shoe is pretty dope, the thing that really drew me to this colorway is that it definitely could have taken a spot on the Teddy Santis Made in USA 16 line. So this pair fits in perfectly with the original three pairs that released in the Marblehead colorway. And even though this isn't a made in USA pair, this pair is made in China. The whole color scheme and color blocking fits in perfectly with that look. So diving into the details of this shoe, the toe box is covered in this off-white colored mesh. And above this, we have this suede hit with the New Balance and logo embroidered in the center. On the medial edge, we have this small hit of this cream colored leather. And overlaid on either side, we have a gray colored nubuck. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have a very hairy gray suede and the same suede covers the entire mid panel of the shoe. The top two eyelets, instead of a TPU or plastic, this is covered in a cream colored nubuck. And similarly, below this, the New Balance N logo, this is constructed out of a cream colored leather with a backing underneath of cream colored nubuck. Moving downwards, we have that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. Underneath this, we have a gray colored nubuck with 2002R branding debossed across. And then looping around the back of the shoe, we have more of that hairy gray suede. And then on the bottom of the shoe, we have this tan colored leather, which feels pretty nice and soft to the touch. It has this perforated finish on the bottom, and above this we have this triangular cutout with New Balance branding pressed onto this leather underlay. And the very top of the heel is covered in this very soft sail or off-white colored leather. As for the laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just your standard flat style lace in this cream or off-white color. Underneath this, we have that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box, we have a tan leather overlay in the middle, and the very top of the tongue is covered in that hairy suede. We have this oval shaped cutout in the middle, revealing the New Balance branding in the center. And then as for the insoles, these come with their standard foam lined insole. It's decently well padded, and it's lined in a gray color textile on top. And stamped on the heel, we have New Balance running branding. So the upper of these 2002 R's sits atop this full length absorbed foam midsole. The midsole is painted in the sail color on the forefoot and gray on the heel. And in addition to Absorb and Absorb SBS, they also incorporate energy technology, which is visible with these gel-like pillars found on the lateral side of the heel. And this is there for impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of a speckled gray colored rubber. Like I mentioned, a portion of this rubber is comprised of recycled materials, and we have that same diamond shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, along with those grooves for added flexibility, and in the middle, we have this gray colored TPU plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology. And this is there for torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 2002 R's. And for those wondering about sizing, to me, these fit like most of my other 2002 R's. So I'd recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I wear a size 10 in New Balance silhouettes like the 2002 R, the 997, the 990 V2, because I find those two models have a bit more of a narrow toe box, along with a lot of made in UK models like the 991, the 1500, and 1530. And in comparison, I usually go a half size down or a 9.5 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 992, the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 998, 
and a lot of my 550s as well. Moving on to the comfort, so these feel just like all your other 2002 R's, so in my opinion, it's one of the most comfortable New Balance silhouettes on the market. I really like how well balanced it feels. You put your foot inside this shoe and right away you feel that cushioning, but at the same time the cushioning isn't overly stacked and mushy, it's not a very soft cushioning setup, but you definitely feel it underfoot, and the shoe still gives you that good amount of support and structure. So in fact, this is one of those shoes that I'd recommend for people if they're going on vacation or if they're just going to be standing around or walking around a lot throughout the day. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so even though this is a made in China pair and the fact that the upper is comprised of recycled materials, I honestly couldn't tell if they didn't tell me. And just getting this in hand and seeing it up close, it could even pass for a made in USA 2002R if that ever existed. And from an overall craftsmanship and build standpoint, this wasn't perfect, but it wasn't that bad. There were some extra loose threads that I had to trim off myself. And on the mesh of one foot, there was a small blob of glue. But other than that, it wasn't that big of a deal. The panels were cut consistently. The left shoe and the right shoe pretty much looked identical. So no real issues at all from that standpoint. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this colorway reminds me so much of the Teddy Santis Marblehead series. This pair would fit in perfectly with that line, and that's really what drew me to this colorway. It has a very mature and very sophisticated look to it. I love the mix of the suede, the nubucks, the mesh, and the leather. Together it just works so well, and the colorway itself is very clean as well. This looks like a shoe that you can wear so well in the fall or autumn season, and it's a pair that you can either dress up or dress down. I think it really works either way. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this colorway. When or if these drop in North America, are you planning on grabbing these? Or are you not really feeling this colorway and it's going to be a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for the continued love and support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.